Yes, hello again. Um, so this video is going to be me uh, going through a bundle of um, toy cars, uh, like vintage toy cars and whatever. It was like 12 and a half kilo. Um, the pictures weren't very, obviously didn't show everything, but from what I could see, there like, were some transformers and stuff in there. Um, and obviously yeah, I'm just like, oh, vintage Transformers, they might be worth quite a bit. But I thought I'd buy it and have a look. I actually put a max bid of, it's going to pay £30 plus postage for the box. Um, I actually ended up getting it for £10 plus £6 postage, I think it was. So £16 is a pretty good price for what I've got. There's a lot of stuff in there. Uh, if I show you the box. This is the box. So I just... Yeah, just some like cars stuff in there, yeah, like transformers, whatever. Um, but yeah, let's go through the box and show you what I've got. I have had a look through it before. I just looked at a few bits just to know sort of what's in there, but yeah, I'll show you every item. Um, first off, we'll start with this. This is like a proper vintage transformer. Um, turns into like a tank. I haven't quite worked out how to transform it um, yeah it's probably quite a vintagey one I'm gonna estimate like 20 30 pound it's probably being optimistic on these uh, I'll probably put up best like the price I listed it for up there but yeah it's kind of cool like that. Got this Dinoco um, cars Thing. It does have wings that come out, like the, the bottom. I'm not sure how to get them out. Yeah, I don't know if it's working. I think it, I think it does need batteries. So if that's not working, probably won't sell for much. But I saw a listing, I think, for ten pound for that. So yeah, it's all right. It's a bit bashed up though. So I'll see how that affects the press. Won't stay still. Uh, this just like just a police mini. You can normally work out if they're a good find by looking at the uh, labelling on it. Obviously, that's Marks and Spencers, so that's not very good. Um, but if you look on the Transformer, for example, I'll find it on the other car. Can see, yeah, look on that. If it focuses, Disney Pixar. So you know it might actually have some good value to it. And got this another Cars Cars Two um, Red Talk, I think it is like Spy. Uh, press that. Oh, gone out of focus. There we are. <laughs> um, press that thing, and it like. Shoots his guns out. It's quite cool. I think that was like, I think it's from America, and I saw one sold for like thirty pound, including postage. I think there's one listed for like eight pound. So yeah, we'll say that's eight pound. Uh, it's like a poor Patrol little car. It normally comes with a dog that sits in there. There's quite a few of them listed, so I don't know if I'll get much for that. These like camper vans that are pretty similar. Um, don't think they're worth anything. They're just like kind of cheap toys you just buy for whatever you know. So yeah, they're probably going like a job lot of all the useless ones. Um, got this. This is supposed to turn on little buttons there. Um, it is a VTEC. Switch and go dyno thing. Obviously, I have to change, change the battery for that to see if it works. If it does, I'm guessing that'll be like five, six pounds at least. Uh, flop it on it. Got this little Batman car. It's quite cool. Comes with a folds out 
There's a little Batman there, but I don't think he comes out. I don't really want to snap it. So yeah, guessing that'll be like five, six pound maybe. This is a Paw Patrol car. Pretty sure it's complete, it just comes like this. Um, there is a switch on it, so I'll have to see if I change the batteries and if it works. But yeah, like, it folds into itself, it's kind of cool. I'll we'll probably sell this with the other Paw Patrol car, just probably like 10 hour plus postage maybe. But yeah, it's kind of cool. This little Mercedes GT, or AMG GT. Is it a GT? I don't know. Um, but if you look just there on it, Tesco stores, so it's probably not worth anything. It's quite bashed up as well. Lots of like marking on it. Yeah, might go in the job lot. This thing, I haven't actually looked at this one, I'm not sure what it is. Um, Hot Wheels, oh it is Hot Wheels, I thought it was. Uh, when you turn it on, it makes... Yeah, it does that. It's probably worth a bit, I think. £8 hopefully. Um, it's like a cat or a C-A-T digger. It does have buttons on top to operate it. Um, so I have to change the batteries on that and see if it works. But yeah, hopefully a couple pound. I've uh, got another transformer here. Turns into like a truck. That's the truck that I need to work out how to actually transform it. But yeah, it's quite vintage that one. By the looks of it, hopefully 20, 30 pound. I'm probably being too optimistic for that. Got this Batman car, which I thought when I saw the pictures was worth, would be worth quite a bit. Maybe it would have been quite old, but it's actually relatively recent. Yeah, 2006. They're still on sale, I think, um, but normally comes with a Spider-Man that sits in there. And it hasn't come with that, so I don't know if that'll even sell that. Or not. Um, this remote control Ferrari came. Remote control doesn't work though, I've tried it all. Um, Yeah, it comes with that remote control, but it doesn't work, so either in a job lot or might have to go in the tip if it doesn't work, so I don't think anyone really want that. Got this. Not really worth anything. No marking on the bottom of it. So yeah, in the job lot. This little Coast Guard car. Is it going to focus? Not really worth anything. This, um, pretty sure it's Spider Man. Okay, this, by the looks of it, I thought it would be something Spider Man. Um, but, oh, what's happened there? Yeah, I thought this would be something Spider-Man, but I can't see any marking on the bottom of it, and yeah, it's just, it's just got that on it, so in the job lot, probably. I've got a gigantic bumblebee. I'm not sure how to, I'm not sure if it's broken or if I just can't move it properly but that's it there absolutely massive proper heavy it does have 
Um, you can switch it on and press that. It makes noise. But I'm not sure how to actually unfold it, so I'll have to work that one out. Another one of them like Spider-Man cars, but it turned up broken, so that'll just go in the bin. Not really upset though. For the price I bought the box out, I can't really complain. Um, I got this Eddie Stobart haulage car gonna focus you gonna focus <laughs> this okay I got an Eddie Stobart car I think these are um, Corgi, that's it, Corgi these are. I think I've got another one of them. I think they might sell for like a pound. If that. Then I've got this, I haven't actually looked at this one. It's a bit, uh, it's a bit freaky. This thing. Twenty fifteen Mattel. Um, I think it, yeah, yeah, I might need new batteries or it might just not be working, but I imagine a few pounds for that, potentially. Just a little boat, not really worth anything I don't think in the job lot. Another like off road car, monster truck. Not really worth much. It's not got anything on the bottom of it, so yeah. Again, another car. Nothing on it. Yeah. Oh, it's lighting up. Whoa, little garbage truck. Toy Estate Industrial. Sounds broken as well. Yeah, it looks like I might be broken. I have to do some research on that. Oh, maybe not. Um, I've got a little transformer here. Quite cool this one. This one's Japanese, I think. I saw complete. It was listed on Amazon for a. This is on Amazon complete for about 60, 70 pounds, I think. But, yeah, I'm not sure how to operate it really. The head like folds out of here somehow. There you go. It's quite scary looking, I think. That the neck just does that. But I think it like folds in there. And then you got yourself a little transformer of a gun. But yeah, I think that'll be a good 20, 30 pound. Pretty nice. Then another Corgi car, Eddie Stobart again. Uh, just a little random car in the job lot. 
This is actually quite interesting. Oh, just noticed there's a crack there. It's a um, Ferrari F40. I don't know if that's in focus. Yeah, Ferrari F40 Tonka. These were selling for like 10, 20 pounds, but inside of it is absolutely filthy. And this is all cracked. So I don't know if that will really sell, but yeah. This, I don't know if it's broken. It. Oh my God. I don't know if it's broken, but it's a massive Batmobile Arkham Knight car. This arm like, doesn't fold in, just stays like that. And I can't really close the top of it and came with this inside of it, but it just keeps shooting out. It doesn't really stay in there. It's just a little Batman in this. Just a little Batman. On his bat bat bike. <laughs> but yeah. I mean if I can figure out how to fix it, even broken it, it'd probably go for a few pounds at most, so or at least, so that's all right. Yes, hello, I'm back for the second part. Um, so I've already, by now I've listed all of the toys that I'm gonna list from it and I've put the box on auction. It's not actually sold yet. Um, but I'll be doing a second update video to let you know about probably in a few weeks or a month if stuff has sold and how much the box went for and how much I'm realistically expecting to get. Um, but I've got some stats here from what I've listed, so I'll just go through them now. Um, so out of the 12.5 kilo box, there was 29 individual like cars in there, items. Um, and I listed... 13 of them on individual listings the other 16 I've put up for auction um, I'm still not sure if I should do it as all 16 in one go or like bunch up like five or six and auction them um, but obviously I'll let you know in the update but yeah the 10 items I've listed comes to a total of £183 um, all my prices so that's £183 sales, postage has already been, is like separate because I charge postage and all the listings for these. Um, so after fees that comes to £155 and whatever the auction box goes for, I put £10 for example, profit, so £165 altogether. Um, the items I've listed, so obviously I've got the Transformers in there, which I used the Google Lens app, someone recommended, um, to just, yeah, you just scan it and press the search button, and yeah, I managed to find out what the Transformers were, they're quite, from the 90s I think, some of them, um, and then I got a few Batman bits, the Ferrari keyring um, was actually a V-Power, like BP, promo, like exclusive, um, so they're quite rare actually, I don't think there's any listed on eBay, so I'll put that up for 20. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll put a list of everything I've got on the side. Um, so, if the box sells for £10 profit, so £165 profit altogether, I'm going to say it took me about a day to list everything and go through it all. Um, plus the packaging post in, you know, probably 10 minutes each item, I'll say all together, like nine, ten hours work to go through the box. Um, so I worked that out to be thirteen pound twenty pence profit per kilo on average. Just as a point of reference for anyone else buying, like uh, toys, toy car bundles. Um, yeah, I thought I'd take a gamble, and it I ended up paying. Sorry, yeah, it's not one hundred and sixty-five pound profit. I paid £17.20 for the box, so it's 165 minus 
£147.80 profit for the box. And so, so the profit per kilo on average is actually it's not 13.2. I've done that calculation wrong. It is. Okay, the actual profit per kilo, my mistake, is 11.82. Um, I paid £17.20 for. Um, for the box plus postage and that means I paid one pound forty per kilo obviously yeah making ten pound profit per kilo is quite alright but I think I did get lucky of the items in there um, I had a big I don't think it was in the video a big Transformers bumblebee um, I think it's like sort of the head doesn't move as it should so it's like sort of broken it still makes sounds and whatever but that's going for 18 I hope obviously I had a big Batman Batmobile thing that was complete some smaller Batman toys and Transformer toys but yeah without them probably would have been a complete waste of time so obviously yeah if you're going to buy a bundle like that or you get the opportunity to make sure there is a few like Transformers or like Batman or like stuff like that in there not just generic because half of it yeah was just generic like unbranded just camper vans and motorbikes and stuff like that um, but yeah that's just my review I guess on the purchase um, I probably would I would pay the same price I did for them I don't think I'd pay any more um, but I mean even if even if we take 20% off we minus the sales price by 20% so, £165 profit. So even if, yeah, if I knock 20% off the listings, let's just say they sell for 20% less at a minimum, that'd be £118.24 profit. And obviously that's £9.40 profit per kilo, so I'd say you're looking at no less than like nine pound profit per kilo on this particular bundle. Obviously, that's, that's the risk. Is some obviously different kilo amounts of cars are gonna have different. You know, I'm waffling. I don't know what I'm going on about. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. I'll probably be do a part two in a few weeks or a month if some of the bits have sold. Uh, even if I haven't, I'll probably do the update video just to let you know it was a complete waste of time and. I'm going to bin everything but hopefully that won't happen but yeah that's the end of the video stay tuned for part two uh, like comment subscribe and all that stuff but yeah see you next time